Hi everybody, welcome to my Chelsea update, uh, my th fourth attempt here on YouTube. Um, I used to do the show on Mimi.tv, um, but now I'm doing it here. Not very many people are interested, I understand, from the viewing figures, so I'll keep it short and brief, I think. Um, don't wish to waste your time. It's um, my look at Chelsea's last game and their upcoming game on Sunday. Plus, I look back in the archives to the 70s to another FA Cup game or a third round game. So let's get started shall we? We should, should all be happy. Chelsea managed to get a win at Crystal Palace on Sunday. A 3-0 win. Goals from Oscar, William and Costa gave us a 3-0 win and um, it put a smile on a lot of Chelsea faces I believe. Well it did mine. Um, so I think Costa was back to his old self which was good and um, Anyway, so let's have a look at some of the stats, shall we, like we normally do. Um, the team was Courtois, Ivanovic, Aspie, Zuma, Terry, Mikel, William, Oscar, Fabregas and Costa. Um, Pedro replaced Hazard in, in, the, in the first half when Hazard went off with an injury. I was listening to the, uh, watching the press conference today and he could be out for a couple of weeks, Hazard. Um, many were sceptics, were saying perhaps he was doing it on purpose because of the weather. Um, believe what you believe. With all the transfer gossip in January, who knows what's going on. Um, yeah, so Pedro came on in the first half for Hazard. In the second half, Matic replaced Oscar right at the end of the game, the 88th minute. And um, we skewed a 3-0 win. Palace were under, were under strength, they had no Kabai, and one of the strikers was missing as well. So we took full advantage of that, I think. And um, subs not used, Begovic, Triori, Baba, Loftus-Cheek. Stats, if you're interested, got some new ones this week. It's some um, possession-wise, 40th Palace, 60 for Crystal, for, uh, for 60 percent for Chelsea. Um, usual um, duels won. This is a new one for you. Duels won, 47 to Crystal Palace, 53 to Chelsea. So don't worry about that. Aerial duels won, 50 to Chelsea and 50 to Palace. <laughs> Interceptions, 23 to Palace, 14 to Chelsea. Corners, 5 to, Ch 5 to Palace, 7 to Chelsea. And fouls, 12 to Palace and 15 to Chelsea. Um, shots, 8 for Palace, 10 for Chelsea. On target, 4 for, four for Palace and 4 for Chelsea. But we got 3 goals. Great goal by William. Um, a tap in for, for Costa in the second half as well in the 66th minute and also got the first goal where we saw it in the 29th minute. So three nils, three points, three goals and three points. So it moved Chelsea up the league, up to Faulkner now at 14th position in the league. Um, still not out of the woods yet, one step at a time. Um, that's all I can say really on, on, the, on, on that really, um, as I think what we need to we need to understand this with this team we're not too sure if they're going to do I think mean, JT was happy after the game like the old Chelsea was saying and um, will this be the start of something good we'll have to wait and see so um, did I mention there's 24,854 there for, for the Palace game good atmosphere I listened to it on talk sport but um, there was a good atmosphere for, especially with the Chelsea crowd we could hit again good support again um, I think JT praised them again after, after the game so let's move on shall we i'll give you some stats and facts up on the screen so you don't have to look at me all the time so you can watch read them as i go along um so sunday we play at two o'clock against scumthorpe united they're a Div division one team um will he play some youngsters we we'll have to wait and see. He, didn't, he was a bit cagey at the, at the press conference. He sort of said might be might be a surprise because he was asked because he only got one strike at the moment, which is which is Costa. He could bring Patrick Bamford back. You never know. I mean, he, he may have seen something in training this week. Then again, he may not. He may be doing may try another formation. We we have to wait and see. But it should be a run out, and especially Chelsea have another Premier game on Wednesday at home against West Brom so he's, he's sure not to play the full strength side on Sunday um, so the game I thought I'd look back at in the 70s 
was about, I saw this on Twitter. There's a, there's a twi uh, Twitter account called at Chelsea FC Progs, which is short for programs. And they put this one up. I'll just hold it up for you. Whoa, there we go. Whee. They put this up on Twitter stream. Well, I've seen that before somewhere. Well, it was an FA Cup game. Chelsea played in 74, or 70, uh, yeah, January, 5th of January 74, against Queen Park Rangers. And that was a two o'clock kickoff, funny enough. Um, I played five free program, as you saw there. Um, I'll read you out the team. I won't put it on the screen because it's, you know, it's, it's, you're probably going to get bored if I keep doing it. I'll read you the printed team. Benetti, Locke, Harris, Hollins, Webb, Kemba, Britton, Baldwin, Oscar. Sorry, Oscar. Os Osgood. <laughs> okay, Oscar. And Hudson and Houseman. Now, would you believe Aussie and Hudson were on a, under a seven-day seven-day suspension, so they didn't play. Um, he, he brought in. You see who, who, who he brought in. He brought in um, uh, Chris Garland, who was a hundred thousand buy from Crystal Palace. People can remember that. And Mickey Droy played as well. So Kemba was, Kemba was moved for, further forward in, in and um, Gar so, so he yeah Kemba was moved forward and. Garland replace Aussie. It was a nil-nil draw. It could have been a nil-one defeat actually. But John Phillips, who, who actually replaced Pete Bonetti, who was in the program, he saved the penalty. So it went to a replay, and sadly, it went to replay. It got delayed a bit. It went to the fifteenth of January, and they played. Um, right, well, first of all, the crowd at Chelsea were thirty-one thousand five hundred and forty. Would you believe? That's quite a small crowd, really, off the previous ones I've spoken about. Um, the away game we lost 1-0 on the 15th of January on the 15th of January and Stanley Bowles scored the goal um, 28,573 um, turned up for that one it was a new one so that was at the end of our Chelsea progress in the FA Cup so Sunday against Scumfault um, let's hope for better um, don't I'm not going to I'm not one of those people who say, yeah, routine win, win 3-0, 4-0. I'm not one of those players, especially after Bradford last year. I think, you know, give them the respect. I hope he puts two or three youngsters in just to give them a chance. The Loftus Sheep may get a run out. Bamford might even have fingers crossed. We've got to see this kid now. He's come back from Palace. Um, I'd like to see him stay as a squad player for the rest of the season. I think he would learn more being a Chelsea player for half a season than he would set out on loan. Um, he's proved himself in the championship, so he, he should be okay against opposition like Scunthorpe. No disrespect to them. So who knows? He might start on Sunday. We don't know. Wait and see. That's Chelsea, isn't it? Um, other news in the in the um, news: Drogba. It was announced one paper carried away one evening. Uh, once one paper gets carried away, another one picks it up on Twitter that Drogba was retiring from football and he was coming back to Chelsea as a coach, as one of the coaches. Well, that soon got denied by a, a DDA on his Twitter feed as a stream, and um, he's told everybody he's still in negotiations with Montreal. Gus was asked at the press conference today, same answer, he's in contract with Montreal. I think, I can't know why, I've got a feeling Drogba wants to play the full season. He wants to have one more crack at it in, in MLS. Um, and coaching wise, one of the persons I would think Chelsea should really be getting, you know, uh, I know Frank Lampard's out in the US. You, uh, New York at the moment, but I remember an article, not a, a report once, where both JT and um, Frank were interviewed. They were both saying they'd done the coaching, they were doing the coaching badges. Now I don't know how far Frank's gone, got with those, but I'm interested to see how if they once Frank finishes in New York, whether he comes back in a coaching capacity, because that he would be an ideal fit for Chelsea if he came whatever level. I'm not talking, you know, first team. I'm talking any level within the coaching staff. Frank is, you know, true blue. Um, despite his Hammers connections, <laughs> and um, let's let's see. I even wait, wait and see. So next game, as I said, Sunday, it's on BT Sports. That's why it's a two o'clock kickoff, um, and tenth of January. So good luck to the Blues. I hope you enjoyed this short podcast. It's only it's just I'm just coming on to the ten minutes. I'm not here to blabble on. Um, I'll put some stats up, put some information up on the screen. So if you want to check me out on Twitter. Check out my website, check out the web the blog for this particular show, please do. I welcome any feedback. So until next time, keep it blue, keep it Chelsea, and um, up the chills. Cheers everybody, good health, wherever you may be.